You know, I've been riding a long time, most of my life. The one thing that I've noticed as I've gotten older, when I'm riding in the cold, is that my hands start getting real cold. They never used to do that. So my lovely daughter got me a pair of these heated gloves. And I'm wearing them for the first time today. It's late November, temps about 40 degrees. And holy crap, what a game changer. These are the Milwaukee leather heated gloves. I'll roll in some pictures. But they're, uh, they're leather gloves, they're waterproof. They are thinsulate lined. Three levels of heat settings via that button, if you can see that. I got it on red, which is the highest setting. And it's got an internal battery pack. And on the high setting, it's supposed to run for two and a half hours. Medium setting, five hours, and low setting, seven hours. Right there. You just press that and toggle through the different settings. It's also um, touch screen capable on the thumb and uh, pointer finger. Um, it's got some reflectivity right in there. It's got some uh, gussets in there for flexibility. Uh, and it's got multiple uh, connection options. I've got the rechargeable battery in there right now. It goes in that zipper. But it also comes with, uh, in addition to a charger for that, it comes with a direct battery connection where you can uh, connect it to your battery with the, the permanent um, eyelets and then run the cord, route your cord up your handlebars and plug them into your glove. And if you've got a heated jacket, it'll pigtail onto that connection. So you can have an unlimited supply of heat. And uh, I've been out for about an hour now, and my hands are nice and toasty. I am really enjoying these. This is gonna allow me to ride in much colder temps. So, um, like I said, it's late November. Depending on the snow, I could be riding for several more weeks. Normally in temps like this, I'll have a face mask on, but right now I've got it just pulled down around my neck because I can't moto vlog with it on. So yeah, these gloves, man, they got the, the whole nine. Can't speak to the durability yet, but as far as features and how they're working so far, I can highly recommend them. I'll leave the uh, specifics down in the description of this video with a link to um, Leather Up where she got them for me. So I can tell you that these gloves run true to size. I wear an extra large and uh, that's what these are and they fit absolutely perfect. The finger length is perfect, at least for me. And um, I forgot to mention, they even have a, I don't know if you can see it there, a little uh, windshield wiper. It's a rubber piece that if you're, uh, if you got a face shield or even eyeglasses that are uh, getting wet, you can just run the little wiper over it and it'll clear them off just like a windshield wiper. How cool is that? So 
So I put my soft tail away for the winter today. And I'll just be riding on my road glide for the rest of the season because of the extra uh, uh, protection from the elements with the big uh, fairing on it, of course. So anyway, I hope you're all uh, still getting some riding in up here in the north. I know you southern guys are. Here's my uh, old stomping grounds. Over here, this is uh, Amazon MKE5 Sort Center, where I worked for several years part-time after retirement. And then the bigger building over there, that, that's their uh, their warehouse, I believe it's MKE1. America. Alright, everybody have a nice Thanksgiving next week. And uh, this will do it for the Bruce City Rider on this one. Stay safe out there, everybody. Peace.